Okay, I'm Daniel Likis, and welcome to Food 101. Food, 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 people. Let's talk about food. And today, I have my co-host, no other than Chef Alessandro. Hello, how are you? Fantastic, like you, Chefy. <laughs> oh, yes, me too. <laughs> As usual. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's good. So we are excited for our upcoming third season. That's correct. That's the, today is the last one of the second season. Yes, this is our last episode for the second season. And yeah. as a token for appreciation to our listeners, as I said, I'm giving away my photography book called the uh, food art design where you will answer the question that we are asking so this is the last week people so you have a chance to email me uh, dsl underscore sti7 the 7 is the word itself at icloud.com and the question is Shafi what's my favorite soup Yay! What <laughs> Chef Alessandro's favorite soup? And last time I told you I will give you a hint where you can find Chef <laughs> Alessandro uh, episode where he's talking about his favorite soup. It was on May 17, 2022. Okay, wow. people, that is the end. <laughs> May 17, May, oh yeah, May 17, 2022. Wow. Okay, people, that's Chef Alessandro's favorite soup. But after that, we talk, I think, four times or three times after that, right, Chefy? Oh, yes. The Chef Alessandro don't like to describe it. So, people, it's so easy. It's mm -hmm. uh, if you know how to speak uh, Italian, <laughs> Italo Italiano, tutto. <laughs> yes, it's easy, people. Okay, just uh, go to May 17 episode. That's where Chef Alessandro talk about his favorite soup. That's correct. Uh, we are very grateful, right, for the second season because Fitch Pod given to us the number 12 spot best food. Wow. podcasts on the planet and as we always saying on our third season we are aiming for the top seven yes yes uh come on please <laughs> <laughs> please help please. us out <laughs> yes. so our third season will be big better yeah. and bolder yes <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> so, Chevy, what are we going to talk about today? Wow, we're going to talk about uh, Italian cheese. Oh, wow. Italian cheese. Uh, that's, uh, that's a tough, uh, tough topic. Eh? <laughs> Definitely. Unbelievable. Do you um, know how many cheese we have in Italy? How many, Chevy? I don't even know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know, I went to, uh, just for, for check it out, uh, you know, on uh, Wikipedia, oh my god, we got a big selection of cheese. You're talking about 400, maybe 500 kind of cheese in Italy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I wow. got no idea all the name. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, and then you are probably wondering, is this our cheese in Italy? <laughs> well, it's all, it, uh, and then it's all, the, it's all about the region, and you know, we got the same cheese in the different region with different name or different uh, flavor, you know. It's so, yes. uh, that's a big topic. Yes. <laughs> Lots to talk huge. about. It. <laughs> it's a huge topic. And they said Italy is the third largest producer of cheese in European Union. Yes, that's correct. So in your region, Shafi, what are the cheese that are famous? In my region? Well, of course, my region is uh, Pecorino Romano, that's for sure. You know, it's uh, the most uh, the most uh, popular for us. Yes. Yes. So, can you describe what's pecorino? Pecorino, pecorino cheese. Yes. Uh, pecorino cheese. It's um, 
uh, well, it's not my one of my favorite, but of course it's uh, from my my own town, so I can I can uh, deny the, my <laughs> my uh, my background. Eh? Yes, <laughs> but you know, Romano, it's uh, it's uh, hard, salty cheese and uh, made with the uh, sheep milk. Uh, uh, it's originally from from Lazio region, so where I come from. But uh, like, uh, you know, Pecorino Romano, there is even uh, Pecorino from Sardinia, you know? So it's almost the same. It's the, just the, the ships are different. <laughs> they grow in a different uh, region with a different uh, uh, environment, a different, uh, uh, you know, uh, hair. And uh, it, it, that's in, in influence uh, uh, everything on the, on yeah. the taste of the, on, on the cheese. Pecorino Romano is one of the Italy oldest cheese, you know? Uh, because there was on the, actually they say there was in the diet of the Roman soldier when it was the Roman Empire, so they was using already the the pecorino romano. A, a cheese looked like a pecorino romano that, at that time. Uh, today we well, we use uh, you know as uh, you know uh, most uh, common is for uh, for pasta dish uh, like uh, uh, carbonara, cacio e pepe. Uh, I, I like to put on my uh, matriciana because I need the pecorino cheese on the matriciana. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So if you compare uh, pecorino to the Greek cheese like feta cheese, is they the same? Uh, no, no, no. Completely different. Completely different. Like pecorino romano, it's a stage, you know, it's, uh, uh, it needs time to mature. It needs to be, you know, um, dry and it needs uh, to uh, practically age. Yes, yeah, age. That's that's the terminal terminal for the for the for the the, the job. You know the, the cheese the Romano cheese is gonna be nice and salty and uh, the the feta cheese yes is good but it's in this in the the keeping the liquid not to keep uh, nice and uh, uh, soft. Yes, pecorino Romano no, it's dry up on the air. So, so how many years that you you're gonna age it, uh, pecorino tabby? Well, that's uh, depend, but usually it's, uh, you know, uh, for example, you know, you can find uh, between the, the 9 to 12 months, uh, you know, it all depends of, uh, you know, who, which part, which uh, who's the maker too, eh? So, yes. But that's uh, about, it's, uh, you know, the one year age. They say, always they say, you know, more the age, better it is. You know, it's like a human body, you know, human people. <laughs> <laughs> more we age, more we look good, no? <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yes, definitely. Just like wine. <laughs> like the wine, that's right. Like the champagne. <laughs> so let's talk about the top five supreme cheeses of Italy. And what are they? Well, uh, I was thinking, you know, I make a list, you know, what's the most popular, popular cheese that people maybe... They come up right away on their mind because it's of course that's that's at the at the end what's count come out first. So yes. My first my first cheese came out was mozzarella, of course, because uh, you know. Uh, pizza. Definitely. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> <Caprese. laughs> yes. <laughs> what's the difference of mozzarella and buffalo mozzarella? Well, that's uh, you know okay when you're talking about mozzarella di bufala, buffalo mozzarella, it's. Uh, yeah. Uh, practically it's a, a pdo pdo it's like a, it's like a, a denomination of origin and uh, protect origin Pro, uh, yeah protect the denomination of origin so it, there is a, practically it's a certified in the uh the, the product is uh, uh, are made ro- locally and grow locally so uh if you think about mozzarella of course come up uh, right away campana means uh, you know from campagna so naples you know that area so yes. whatever it's uh, mozzarella di bufala uh, PDO, it's uh, it's uh, practically it's uh, growing only in the region over there. Oh, okay. That's uh, that's, uh, that's the the like a uh, like a um, oh, what, what can I say like a, a trademark. Probably. A trademark, yes. yes. Um, so how about a book and chain, Shafi? Well, that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, you know it's. it's same, almost same product, same same uh, quality. You know, depends when uh, you know if they're qualified as a you know, um, like the mozzarella. Now, if you think about like uh, uh, you know the stracciatella, stracciatella cheese. Oh yeah, I love it. You know, it's, uh, it's a soft a, cheese, right? It's a soft Italian cheese. It's like a, you know, like a butter almost. You know, uh, uh, 
Um, that one is come actually from, uh, it's generated actually, it's, uh, it's popular, the, from yes. Puglia, South Italy. You know? Oh, okay. Uh, just like uh, mozzarella, a traditional stracciatella is made from buffalo milk too. But it's oh, made oh. from the buffalo milk down in, in, in Puglia. But of course, you can find the stracciatella even all, all over the Italy, you know. But there is a specific, you know, I, I believe that, you know, the flavor they give the, the region where they, they are created, that's the make the difference of the cheese too, of course. You know? Yes. Sorry. It varies of uh, the region that it came from. Right? Yes, like uh, well, now for example, the stracciatella uh, because it's very creamy consistency, you know. So it's best for uh, like a spread on top of the bread, uh, you know, or uh, like a crostini, or uh, you can you can even drizzle with olive oil and eat it like this. Eh? Uh, it's like uh, like the mozzarella, but you know you can put it even on top of the pizza, on pasta, yeah. on salad. Yes. You know, that's a good thing about the, the, the stracciatella. And then uh, my favorite, of course, uh, there is always a favorite, uh, you know, in cheese. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite is the burrata. Burrata. Yeah, I, the I, burrata, it's my, my number one cheese I really like. <laughs> so, <laughs> I remember when I was, uh, I was leave, uh, I was uh, far away from home. And uh, every time I was coming back from vacation, I was always ask, my mama always asked me, what would you like for the first dinner when you come home? <laughs> so my, first, <laughs> my first answer was bread, burrata, and prosciutto. <laughs> that was my, 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 only, my, only quest, my only answer to my mom. So that's why yes. I find that at the, uh, the first day when I arrive at home. So for, for burrata, it uh, it's, uh, looks like a mozzarella. But mozzarella? Then, yes. But then when you cut it, it's inside, yes. it looks like a stracciatella. <laughs> so oh, wow. creamy. So yes. practically, you got two kind of cheese put together. One. It was a combination, an explosion of combination. <laughs> it's an <laughs> amazing combination. That, that's amazing. And even this one, even this one, it's uh, it's uh, um, it's a uh, uh, IGP. It's uh, practically it's a uh, uh, protected geographic indication. Same thing, okay. you know. It's got it's uh, it actually geographically it's from Puglia too. This one, oh. and uh, burrata, it's uh, you know a rich uh, buttery flavor. You know, uh, it's very good as a cheese board. It's uh, it's uh, uh, very good with the cured meat, with the vegetable, or uh, even with the, some fruit jam beside. You know, if you want to try. I can, you can even put on top of the pizza. It, trust me, on top of the pizza, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Key bono. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. It's unbelievable. So which prosciutto do you like, chef? Prosciutto oh, cotta or prosciutto crudo? Parma. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, any kind of prosciutto is good for me when you combine it with the, with the, with the burrata. <laughs> <laughs> Cotto or crudo, mortadella is okay, salami is okay. <laughs> is there's if there's a burrata for sure, oh, any yeah. kind of that, prosciutto. No, no, yes, that absolutely is my favorite on the cheese. Eh? For uh, yes, as a, you know, you can eat, I can eat anytime, anytime, anywhere, right? Yes, then we got, of course, then after we go with the soft, a little bit soft cheese. So, you okay. we can talk about ricotta cheese. I like I like make ricotta too, eh? By myself, I really love to make ricotta cheese. So how you can you share to us your technique how to make? No, ricotta? otherwise everybody nobody's going to come in my restaurant to eat. <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> it's a trademark, people. So no, need to <laughs> no, maybe we can do we can do one uh, uh, one day we can make one episode just for the to talk about the ricotta cheese because there is lots to talk about. It. Like ricotta cheese, you can. You know, you can make uh, ricotta cheese, you can fill pasta. You can make dessert, wow, cannoli siciliani. You can make uh, uh, cassata siciliana. You can make pastiera napoletana. Uh, you can make, uh, you can eat like this with just olive oil and salt and pepper. Uh, yes. it's, uh, it's an unbelievable cheese. It's actually, technically, it's no count actually like a cheese, but it's still cheese. <laughs> yes, yeah, still yeah. cheese. It's still dairy. And... Yeah. Mm, true it's still cheese and made from italy just for sure it's 
Qué oh, bueno. Yeah. What about what about what do you think about mascarpone cheese? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's like I'm eating cream cheese. <laughs> That's a, a, our Italian cream cheese. You know, you're talking yes. about you're talking about tiramisu. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you're talking about tiramisu. <laughs> oh, we can make sauce. We can make lots of stuff. Oh my. Yes, they, they are considered a soft cheese. They are. Yes, it's, a, it's our practically. It's a, yes, it's a, our Italian cream cheese. Basic ingredients of cheese as chef are what are they? Well, uh, the the basic the basic uh, ingredient is always, of course, milk, and then it can be uh, 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 milk, uh, cow milk, or can be uh, a sheep milk, or can be even a combination, half and a half. Of course, depends on what kind of cheese they're gonna they're gonna make. And uh, I was uh, thinking about you know a, a nice uh, well, a nice uh, uh, let's say. Uh, hard cheese, I can say hard cheese, but uh, uh, yeah, an age, an age, uh, uh, dop cheese. You know, I was thinking about Asiago because here yeah, in Canada they use Asiago because they like Asiago cheese. Uh, so Asiago is came from Italy too. Yes. Oh, okay, that's nice. Actually, it's, it's coming from Veneto and Trentino. That's the area they they come from. The the, the Asiago. Uh, it actually, the Asiago has got. If you look in the history of the Asiago, it's got more than one thousand year old uh, history. And uh, it's made uh, uh, with first it was made with the cow, but it is with the sheep milk. Oh yeah, yeah. When it just combined together? Uh, no, they actually they replaced they they changed they 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 made it with now with the she, with the sheep milk. So in your region, Chefy, what are the cheeses that really popular that came from your place? For my place? Yes. Well, with my parents, they love cheese. I'll tell you. So I grew up with uh, everything: mozzarella, stracciatella, burrata, uh, ricotta cheese, mascarpone. Uh, I grew up with the gorgonzola. But ma- ma- actually, my parents don't like much gorgonzola, but I like gorgonzola. <laughs> yes, my favorite gorgonzola. <laughs> yeah, well, my parents don't, they're not crazy about gorgonzola, but uh, when I w- start to go to school, uh, culinary school, I start to make recipe with the gorgonzola. So I, you know, I feel you know, it was nice. Actually, it's. Uh, if you make a nice uh, risotto with the gorgonzola and pear and walnuts, it would be unbelievable. Yes. Unbelievable. Anyway, uh, you know, of course, uh, Asiago or uh, Scamorza. Of course, from Scamorza. Oh, yes. Scamorza, That's... provolone. Provolone. Yeah. Is the, provo- the old cheese that you, you always find in an Italian house, almost. Uh, of course. Hey, don't forget about Parmigiano Reggiano and Grana Padano. That's the one. <laughs> yes, the supreme. <laughs> uh, of course, everybody got for sure Parmigiano Reggiano at home, especially if it's DOP. <laughs> of yes. course. It's got a Campo Emilia Romagna region. It's the king of the cheese. <laughs> king of the cheese and the supreme of all cheeses of Italy. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's, uh, it's unbelievable how, many, how much you can talk about cheese. How much yes. people they need they don't know too much about the, the, the cheese, you know, because we have so many, so Definitely. many. Definitely, there are a lot of cheeses, and uh, it so happened that Italy have this trademark about cheeses that if they oh Grana Padano, it's come from Italy. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I always and I always. Uh, 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 advertise, uh, publicize, or whatever, advertise to everybody please eat the original cheese, don't eat the fake <laughs> cheese. Yes, yes, you yes. know, uh, you know, even if you don't have to eat a lot, but at least you eat a little bit because I know it's expensive cheese, is too, of course, it's expensive all over, it doesn't matter where in Italy or even in Canada. But if you were to eat cheese, eat at least a good one, okay? Sure. Don't try imitation. You tell you, oh, it's, you know, it's, it's like a Grana Padano, it's like a Parmigiano. No, eat the original. You can't get wrong with that. Yes. And most of the people, Shafi, are being confused because they don't know really what the authentic, uh, let's say, Parmesan cheese. Yes. Now there's a lot of imitation cheese out there. Yes. Uh, Parmesan. Because it's, it's so expensive to export them and they're making imitation that makes people food <laughs> yes they mix uh, sometimes they mix with the mozzarella cheese and the grated with the mozzarella cheese pass for parmigiano but of course you know 
uh, I always say, you know, just a little bit, but eat the good one, please. True. Because, you know, uh, the taste of a really parmigiano, the taste of uh, the really grana padano, you know, you know, talking about, you know, uh, parmigiano reggiano at the age of 12 uh, to 12 months to six years old cheese. Yes. You know? there, there is people over there with a little hammer, you know, to touch bang and once uh, once a day each uh, uh, wheels of parmigiano every day for six years and to arrive to your table you know imagine True. that imagine that you know and you know grana padano it's a little bit younger cheese but still yes you know yes. it's uh a, a, you know it's good with everything this kind of cheese it's uh can i can i can stop <laughs> to, to, stop talking about cheese <laughs> <laughs> oh yes so, Shafi, in one word, if you describe the taste of Grana Padano, how you describe it? The Grana Padano, the Grana Padano, it's, um, uh, let's say, well, it's, of course, it's, it's cow milk, so... Um, a little bit better, I think? No, because... Uh, well, it's, uh, it's uh, very similar to, parmi to Parmigiano. Parmesan Parmesan cheese, yes. It's some, yes. It's some of them. The age, it's, uh, it's like a nine-month-old cheese. Yes, uh, but it's uh, more delicate and uh, sweeter taste than uh, than uh, grana, than uh, Parmigiano because Parmigiano taste uh, is gonna be older, so it yes. get a little bit more, uh, um, let's say, uh, um, uh, let's say stronger uh, in, aroma. Uh, yes, aroma. Yes, of course. But the, no, the Grana Padano, yeah, no, it's it's more sweetest uh, because it's it's young. It's a young cheese. If you're eating Parmigiano or uh, Parmesan cheese or Grana Padano. Grana Padano, it's just like you're drinking milk. It's it's just add the aroma of six years old aged uh, milk. Yeah, because it's practically it's they keep making the the traditional recipe. They never change it. They don't put nothing, no chemical, nothing on it. Yes. You know? That's the good things about the Italian cheese. Well, not just Italian cheese, right? You know, we're talking about French cheese, or you know, when they make the real, the real, the real cheese. Yes. You know, they don't put no chemical in. So that's the good thing. You know, so eat the real, eat the yes. real cheese. You know, and uh, you will see the difference, really. And I'm telling you because I work in a kitchen, so I know. You know, when you cook in pasta, you put par real Parmigiano Reggiano, and when you try to put uh, you know, a low price Parmigiano Reggiano, there is no Parmigiano Reggiano. You can see the difference. It looks like a mozzarella cheese melting on top of the pasta. And the, the Parmigiano, the Parmigiano Reggiano is melting in the sauce. It's become a cream almost. Yes. That's, uh, that's you know, that, that's a fantastic. You know, like, you give it a flavor to all the pasta. And say, when you got the piece of cheese, uh, no melt on top, it's, uh, you know, be doesn't look nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> At all. One, one of the quality of Italian cheese they are easily melted, Shafi, right? Yeah. Yes, it's like it goes together with the sauce. Yes. Now, for example, you know, the, uh, pe the pecorino romano, no? we make in Rome, we make cacio e pepe. It's practically, it's just pasta with, uh, with uh, black pepper and uh, cheese. Yes. Pecorino romano. So yeah. we just use, use a little bit of uh, boiling water for uh, us to de 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 dissolve a little bit, not to, to make soft the cheese, and then uh, mix with the pasta. It, that's the pasta became all creamy, uh, and probably by just cheese, cheese, pepper, and, and a little bit of boiling water. That's it. Yes. It's a simple pasta, but so tasty because you probably you taste the cheese, the Romano, the pecorino romano. Yes, I, I think, Chef, if you buy cheese in Italy, they, there is a sale on each of the cheese that you are buying, right? Yes. Just like the Grano Padano. Yes. If, if yes. you will buy the whole... Uh, Grano Padano is a big, like, a drum, right, Chef? Yes, how, how absolutely. How you can describe that. And, and uh, once you buy it, there is a really seal on the top of Grano Padano that this is really authentic and yes. come from the manufacturer itself. Absolutely. When you go and start to see DOP, you go and start to see IGP, you know, that's all a sign of, uh, of the, uh, um, our symbol, our, our trademark from Italy, you know, about, you know, the really, you know, the, the originality of the, of the cheese. There's no a fake cheese. It's just, you know, it's real, the real one, you know? Yes. 
True. So, Chefy, let's do the recap. Mozzarella. Well, yes, of course. Mozzarella, stracciatella, yeah. burrata, uh, ricotta, mascarpone. Yes, mascarpone. Everybody knows. Gorgonzola. Nice cheeses. They are supreme cheeses. Oh, yes. Plus Anna Patano. Yes. Then we got Fontina, Asiago. Fontina Chef is like uh, the same with the um, thing with the cheddar cheese, right? Yeah, Fontina. Well, let's say, that it, uh, okay, well, Fontina is particularly cheese, but, but let's say if you want to uh, uh, combine, like, okay, we say like the same, almost the same. Yeah, again, we can say it's like uh, our uh, cheddar cheese for uh, a melting cheese, you know? Yeah, melting. Because Fontina, Fontina you can use uh, as a fondue to make the cheese fondue in Italy. Especially oh. thinking about this coming from Val d'Aosta, it's a very cold place in North, North, North Italy. <laughs> they like to do they like to do this uh, the nice cheese fondue, amazing. Where you can uh, you know just dip the chunk of bread and so inside the, the the melting cheese. It's amazing. Yes. And uh, or you can put on top of the chicken on the steak, you know, and uh, and that, that's uh, it's an uh, amazing cheese. Yes, fabulous cheese. So, Chef, can you give us one of your recipe that there's a lot of cheese in it? A lot of cheese? Wow. Yes. Wow. Quattro formaggi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Definitely. Pasta or pizza? Which one you like? <laughs> Quattro formaggi, yes, true. Yeah. Uh, Definitely. We, the, well, we can do the pasta, quattro formaggi. We can do the pizza, quattro formaggi. Absolutely. True, that's all. But yes, you know what? The you know, more cheese you use, the more happy you're gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, well let's see a nice a nice salad with lots of cheese on it. You can put five or six kind of cheese on top of your salad. Oh my <laughs> amazing. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Kim yes. Absolutely. Uh, and they're saying chef that over two thousand five hundred traditional varieties. Yes. Among with about 500 commercially recognized cheeses, uh, 300 kinds of cheese, it protected the signation of the origin in Italy. Mm -hmm. wow, wow, that's interesting, right? So, Chefy, what is your advice for those people? Uh, let's say they are the beginners. What's my advice for the beginner? Well, I, I always advise, you know, try all the cheese, or at least you know what you're talking about, what we're talking about, because it's, uh, especially if you work in the kitchen, you start to work in the kitchen, yes, you need to know uh, the basic cheese, for sure, uh, or to make uh, um, uh, cheese board, or to make uh, uh, stuff, uh, chicken, or, uh, or uh, pasta, quattro formaggi, or, you know, Whatever you're going to make, you need to know the basic cheese. Not just Italian, no, of course. You need to know, you know, if you do this job, it's important that you know even uh, French cheese or, you know, uh, Switzerland cheese or whatever, no? All the world cheese would be amazing. Yes. Wherever you go, there is always a, a very good cheese around there. But most important thing, get the original one. Get the original. An authentic one, yes. The authentic, of course, yes, authentic. Go with authentic. Yes, if you are a good chef or a good cook, you need to distinguish different kinds of cheeses. Not even, not, not only Italian cheese. You need to know also a uh, Greek cheeses. Yes, and uh, most especially European cheese, cheese because they are. Uh, in the history of cooking, French cuisine, Italian cuisine, they are the supreme in terms of culinary mm -hmm. and talks about cheeses, they are number one. Yeah, more they're, they're authentic and more you're going to get the flavor, the taste. And you know the difference when somebody's going to pass you the authentic for a fake one. <laughs> That's important. Thing. True. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, beware of the fake one because yes. it's mislead, mislead you that especially if you're cooking a nice recipe and the cheese that you uh, buy is not really it it uh, affect the taste of the recipe that you're doing yes shout out to the people listening of these countries number 39 to 
50. Okay, cool. Okay? So at number 39, Norway. Norway, wow. Thank you, Norway. You're such a beautiful country, especially summer. Oh, Thank my goodness. You. Thank you so much. Number 40, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, wow. Thank you, Asia. Thank you. And number 41, Israel. Israel, wow. Thank you so much. Number 42, let's go to Asia, Malaysia. Hey, wow. Thank you so much. And at number 43, Argentina. Argentina, fantastic. Wow, Buenos Aires, thank you so much. Yes. At number 44, oh, Sheffy, I live uh, this country for three years. Oh, yeah? United Arab Emirates. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, United Arab Emirates. And number 45, Vietnam. Whoa, Vietnam. Wow. Friends Hanoi. Too. We, wow. have a lot of, we have a lot of listeners in Hanoi, Sheffy. At number 46, yeah. Thailand. Wow. Bangkok, thank you so much. At number 47, Hong Kong. Hong Kong, wow. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you. At number 48, Nambia. Oh, wow. Thank you, Africa. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of people listening in Africa, Chevy. Good. And at number 49, Hungary. Hungary, oh. Thank you so much, Hungary. Thank you. And at number 50, Nigeria. Nigeria. Wow. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we are now on the half of the countries listening to us. And as wow. we said, thank you so much from the bottom of our heart. And the chef and I are so grateful for Absolutely. Our... Thank you very much listening to us and we promise you our third season will start on <laughs> it's going to be bigger it's going to be better and it's going to be bolder <laughs> yes uh, true and that will be we promise you um, we're preparing the best of the third season and you will be say amazed <laughs> oh, oh so <laughs> yes <word>. absolutely <laughs> that's the word amazed and thank you, Canada. We are at number 20 on the Apple chart. Sheffy, wow. Yes. Thank you so much for listening to us. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yes, we appreciate it from our bottom of heart. Yes. Okay, Chevy, thank you for your time. No problem. Talk to you next week. <laughs> See you next week, people. Watch out for our third season because, as you have said, Let we are see. bigger, better. better. Boulder. Boulder. Body gone, people. See you soon.